Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving an easy lead code problem number 136, single number. The problem statement is given a non-array, given a non-empty array of integers nums, where every element appears twice except for one. We need to find out that single one element, that single element and return it. We must implement a solution with linear runtime complexity and use only one constant extra space. Looking at example number one, where nums is two, two, one. So the number two is repeated twice, but one is repeated only one time. Hence, we will return one. In example number two, in example number two, the number four is repeat is not repeated. It's only a the number 4 is not repeated, hence we are returning 4. Solving it with <coughs> solving it with the space of O of n is pretty easy. All you need to do is use a map or a dictionary with the original value as a key and check if the key exists. At the end, if a certain key has a count of only 1, that value needs to be returned but that will make this problem very easy again this problem is termed to be an ease that will make the problem very easy hence we need to think about how we can keep the space as constant space hence we need to come up with a solution where we use only constant extra space let's switch to whiteboard and talk about it The simplest solution which does not take <coughs> one simple solution to solve this problem is to uh, is to first sort the array into either ascending or descending and then compare adjacent values the values needs to be equal and our iteration should increment by the space of 2 for example let's try to apply this logic to this given and while comparing the risk and while comparing the adjacent values we will be incrementing our pointer by 2 only then we will be comparing two new values every time and if we don't and if the original and if the first value is not equal to the second value it means we have found a combination it means we have found the number which is not repeated and we can return that value Let's take a look at the exam. Let's solve the above problem using this solution, using this approach. So after applying a sort on it, my out, after applying sort, my input will be sorted into this order. Starting with iteration, so i is equal to 0. So I will compare i with the next value. So my first, so my first value is 1. Is it equal to the next value 1? Yes, it is. So we cannot, 
so <clears throat> yes it is so we will continue the flow so i is equal to i plus 2 so the new value of i will become 2 so the next two value that we will be comparing is these two corresponding value is 2 comma 2 they are still equal so we will go under this so we will increment our i so i will now be 4 so we are now comparing these two values So now we are comparing 3 and 3 they are still the same so we will increment our i to 6 so now i am comparing 4 but i do not have anything after that so because of that this tells me this 4 is unique because we haven't found any other character so far hence we will return this 4 Hence, we will return 4 as our result. But let's say that we had another value after that. So I will be comparing 4 with 5. four and five they are not equal so we will return the first value as our result and break the loop so that this solution our time complexity is o of n as we are iterating through this array only once and our space complexity is constant space of one as we are not creating any additional collection we are just using this one pointer to we are only using this pointer to point to a certain value and comparing it with, comparing it with the next value in the array hence we can solve this problem based hence <clears throat> i hope i hope you were able to understand this explanation let me show you how we can solve it using C sharp. So here is my C sharp solution. I start by checking I start by having a validation to make sure that nums is null nums is not null and the length is not a do and the length is not a multiple of 2 in either of the cases if that is true if any of the condition is true I am returning 0 then I am sorting the and then I'm sorting the array in ascending order then starting the for loop from and then starting a for loop with i is equal to 0 all the way to i is i less than or equal to nums dot length minus 1 and incrementing i by 2 after each iteration then I'm comparing if I am at the end of the loop then I'm comparing then I am checking if my i is equal to nums dot length minus one, which means I am already at the end of my of my array, and so far I haven't found the unique element. So I need to return nums dot i, which is the last element in the array. If that is not true, then I am comparing the arrays. Then I am comparing the value at i with the next value in the array. If the condition, if the two values do not match, then I am returning nums of i. Then I am returning nums of i as it is going to be unique. If we do not find any in, if, 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand the solution and the Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand my explanation and the solution. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This source code is available on my GitHub repository. The link is there in the description below. Feel free to check that out. Until then, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and continue coding. Thank you.